On the flight deck, crews are manning up for the 1630 launch. Temperature is 86 degrees, altimeter is 3002. Time for all necessary personnel to clear the flight deck and the catwalks. All flight deck personnel get the proper flight deck uniform. Helmets on a buckle, goggles down, sleeves rolled down, flow coat securely fast, and check yourself for loose gear and FOD. Check chops, tie downs, and all loose gear about the deck. Check all rotor clearances and prop arcs. Start all the go aircraft. Start them up. Okay, ground crew signaled ready to taxi. Our lineup is Cat 2. We'll wait until Cats 1 and 3 have launched. I like these new guys, by the way. What are their names? Hawkeye, Spiceman, Shotgun, and that mouthy dude, uh, Vipe Vapor. Yeah. Anyway, check your uh, attack is set to 74 X-ray. Uh, don't forget to reset your master caution when the wings are swept. Also, let me know if you want me to set the data link to the Stennis or not. Once airborne, we'll fly our DME-7, then join the pattern above the ship. They are recovering a couple flights ahead of us. It might be a while till we get to Charlie, so make sure you conserve fuel. Ideally, we want to make all three traps without refueling. After the first trap, we'll go straight for the pattern. Means just like in the bolter. Leave the gears and flaps down, climb 600, and go straight for the downwind. Once we hit BME 7, I'll let you handle the comms. We're usually zip lift, as always, but CAG wants to evaluate radio comms for both pilots and NFOs. So you'll have the honors today. Trap 1 will be with radio comms by the pilot, since the CAG evaluated us yesterday. Trap 2 and 3 will be zip lip not even LSO. So just watch the traffic, fly the pattern, fly the ball. We'll simulate MCON. I'm ready to taxi when you are. Let's line up on CAT 2 and get going. There's another crew waiting to switch hot after us. Launch, gears up. 225, flaps up. Let's keep it below 500 feet and around 350 knots until we hit 7 nautical miles. We'll come left to enter the pattern then. We're briefed for 2,000 feet.
Let's make a left turn and enter the holding pattern at 2,000 feet. When ready, contact CAT CC. Remember, CAG wants to hear clear and good pilot comms. Okay.
Okay, we collected some points there. One down, two more to go. Uh, I knew it, I knew you'd be short. Two wire. One and go for the second round. Remember, after the launch, we'll proceed like during a bolter. Straight for the downwind and groove. Make sure to check if someone's in the brake or about to brake. If so, wait with the launch and then simply get behind them in the pattern. Ready when you are. Good launch again. Remember, we leave the gears and flaps down. Climb direct 600 feet and turn for the downwind. Don't forget that trap 2 and 3 are supposed to be performed zip lift, simulating MCON conditions. Watch the traffic, get in behind them and fly the ball. No LSO calls.
101, Tomcat Ball, 5.5. That one seemed better to me. One more to go. Oh, I got home on a two wire. Some fuel. Else let's line up on Cat 1 and finish the last round. The next crew will be switching hot after that. Ready when you are. Let's make this one count. Good launch. Same as before. Gears and flaps down, direct to 600 feet and into the downwind. Remember to watch for traffic and remain zip-lip. Okay, that's it. Let's taxi to the corral and switch with... I'll take it. It's a two-wire. Well done, I guess. Tomorrow we'll resume regular flight ops. 
I hope you're looking forward to some nice and long bar cabs. <laughs> anyway, let's head for the ready room and we'll see how we did. Remember to leave the engines on, we switch hot. Also, tonight is casino night. Last chance to detent a bit. From tomorrow on, it will get really, really busy.